let's head on out back on the road now in the ram gotta love this truck man every time i drive it it just puts a smile on my face and i just love driving it so much because all the sounds that it makes and the sheer amount of power they have behind the wheel and of course just the height raised height of a 2500 truck bingo back here just sitting at this red light that always takes forever but yeah I am most likely going to be buying a new camera here shortly. I know I mentioned it a while ago, a while back, weeks ago, maybe a month or two ago, probably about a month. But I'm probably gonna get a new camera. I want something smaller. This is a very nice camera, don't get me wrong, the quality is great, but the uh, it's kind of big. It's kind of real big. So I'm messing with the audio functions of this microphone and the kind of the camera settings and stuff. I hope that it's not too sensitive now, because I know it was way down before. It seems like it could be sensitive now. big mile radius. They said they could bring them there, but it wasn't really what I was looking for. made it here to the local Lowe's, got some to pick up, and it's kind of important, so I'm hoping they have it in stock. I have no idea what I'm really looking for. Well, I do, but I don't know where to look for it in the store, so yeah, no, don't come to Lowe's too often, but when I do, it's always fun. Oh, nearly. Look at that ram. Oh my goodness. Nice. <laughs> so I forgot to bring a sample lug, Allen key or screw, whatever it is, head cap screw, and so I don't really know what size, I'm thinking it's this, but I honestly have no idea, so I'm probably just going to take a picture and then head back, and so that way I don't just get the wrong one. Smells like some good steak out here. <laughs> Wow, last from the past, there's my old Silverado, just kidding, <laughs> that is what it looked like though. Crazy stuff, man. Power stroke. Alright, now let's see if we can remote start her from right here. Yep. Lobby just opened up right there. Nice. <laughs> Look at that OBS. It's got some kind of lift on it. I think I remember the five years ago that they installed that light. I always thought it was really weird. Let's play Coliseum, very interesting place. You can let your kids play arcade games while you drink alcohol with your friends at the bar. It's 
really nice how this uh, <laughs> looks. In the Lifted silver gabo. Oh my goodness, that was a nice one. Well, just pulling up here at the Arbs. Figured I'd grab a quick sandwich after what three years that I've never eaten here in a long time. Well, uh, catch you in a sec. All right, guys, just finished up here. Check out this flat tire on the Silverado over there. They just kind of abandoned their vehicle because I just went inside and ate, and it's still sitting there, and no one, no one is around. No one's in the truck. So I guess they just abandoned it. That kind of, kind of sucks. So let me start up. All right. Guess I'm gonna drive home real quick. And uh, it's completely dark outside now, so you can't really see much. Let me see if I can do that. There we go. Similar features on each truck. A little bit different in certain scenarios here. And uh, yep. Yeah. Let me just uh, put the seatbelt on. Alright, so yeah, I did uh, show you guys that earlier today with the water situation and everything coming in the mail. Got up to check out the screws. I should have brought one with me. I completely forgot about whether it's daily drivable. A Ram 2500 Cummins diesel. It definitely is. Obviously, if you live in a big, big city such as New York City, it's going to be pretty hard because being able to maneuver and stuff, people are, people are going to be squeezing through and by you and everything on the sides and it's going to make it pretty difficult that way. But I'm saying if you live in an area like I do, it's definitely very doable. As you can see, I just got food. I went for a long drive on the highway. I drove kind of sort of in a city environment here. So it definitely performs well. So if you guys are thinking about getting one as a daily driver, it is definitely worth it. Let's be honest here. It is definitely easier to drive a small car. But I mean, come on now. It's, it's more fun to drive a big truck like this. Plus, you got more room. You can carry whatever you want with you and everyone has room anywhere in this whole truck as you saw in my other video the back seats if you look have an extreme amount of room look at this it's such a big window back there it's almost it might be as big as the front ones and it's a full square window so it might actually be a bigger window people raise families in these trucks now back in the past i mean a truck was always that vehicle that people have on the side that they'd use for stuff around the house or the farm or something but now trucks have become family vehicles and daily drivable family vehicles i mean of course this is a heavy duty diesel truck all right let's go 